times, let's not exaggerate. We're a lot bigger country, a lot bigger population. Let me be conservative. Civil war of this, I'd say 50 times this. Because by the way, people aren't just going to start burning trash cans and stuff. Um, patriots, libertarians, conservatives don't ever protest, you notice. Uh, because when they do, they protest like 1776. And it's, it's not going to be pretty. And the globalists actually want to maneuver this. And this is what I want to explain to you today. What we're seeing in Kiev and what we see going on there and what we see happening there is a microcosm of how the globalists operate. They don't usually invade your country. They don't uh, usually come in with an overwhelming force openly. The Bushes did that, and that was against main globalist policy, but the establishment let them do it as a test. They do it by fomenting opposition and overthrow groups and balkanization and destabilization programs. Then they take over that country and use it the next phase to exploit to the next country, try to infiltrate and overthrow it. That's how the globalists operate, through subversion. It's on record. And they have already created in the last 60 years through the different foundations, the Carnegie, the, the, the Ford Foundation mainly on that case, teaching that the Southwest belongs to Mexico, teaching that whites are inherently racist in all the high schools, all the colleges. I went to college, I went to high school. I was taught that in Dallas, I was taught that in Austin in high school, I was taught that at community college, and so I didn't go to Maine College. Every class, it could be math, it could be U.S. history, it could be psychology, I was taking a bunch of courses to see what I liked. It was white people are bad, America's bad, uh, the Southwest belongs to Mexico, and we're gonna have a communist takeover, and we're gonna take the guns, and uh, all of you white people should be ashamed of yourselves. This was all coming out of white people's mouths. And when I wrote papers against it, they would give me uh, Fs, and I would write misspelled as a test, screwed up ones, worshiping communism and stuff as a sick joke. I did it a few times. They would give me A pluses and invite me for coffee afterwards. And I said, that's it, I'm out of here. I'm going to go do an access TV show. The only place I can get on air, I'm going to fight these people. And now you see the universities, you see it, it everywhere. I mean, it is just incredible what is going on so that they can then have the riots start up whenever they want in this country. You don't just think they're going to come for the guns and then leave it at that and have a civil war over that. No, no, no. They're going to stage some race stuff and get the Southwest burning. And then it'll be, oh, there'll be sanctions on the U.S. if they don't let this become its own autonomous zone where they put us into a North American Union, what Obama's going to Mexico right now to do. And then they always then have a super union with, with the old groups, the old countries, broken up into small little groups within it. So globalism is the opposite of unity and the opposite of sovereignty. It's totally exploitive, totally predatory. And so you watch. Uh, Ukraine will be much worse in a year than it is now. If they would have gone under the EU, it would have been much worse for them. And this is what the government of the Ukraine now gets because they didn't join the EU, the incredibly predatory EU. And when they voted a month ago, remember, to not join, I said, that's it, get ready for their cities to burn. On record, it's just not hard. You don't join NATO, you don't join the EU, they're going to overthrow your country just like Serbia. In that case, they brought in radical Wahhabist Muslims out of Albania, had them blow up churches, shoot little kids on the street. The Serbs got mad, attacked them. I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not taking sides for the Serb folks. I, I, I have no Slavic blood in me. I, I've never been to Serbia. I just studied real geopolitics and what actually happened under Bill Clinton. And you know, they, they would have a guy with tuberculosis wanting into a food, food tent that had wire around it. And Time Magazine and Newsweek and all of them would show it. And CNN going, look at this starving man in a Serb concentration camp. It was all lies, folks. The Serbs in the UN zone numbers lost double to triple, depending on which war, in the 90s. And were always the ones being attacked. Just like when the Syrians fight back against the outside Al-Qaeda invasion, oh, it's a horrible atrocity. And they brought in the Al-Qaeda into the south, and they took a third of the country. Kosovo is a drug running around, and now they're still attacking up into the rest of the country. And, and this is how the globalists operate, and they bombed Belgrade and the rest of the country with depleted uranium. Why not give old uh, Clinton five peace prizes for that? All because it was a sovereign country, and they broke it up, folks. After the fall of the Soviet Union, and, and, and you know, Tito had been dead a long time, all that, that whole place was getting along fine. The whole Balkans, where we get the term Balkanization, 
The whole Balkans was getting along until the West came in and did that, just like the Middle East. This is such an evil divide and conquer policy. It is so bad, and they're gonna do it here in America. Curious about what comes next? Next is the feeling of vulnerability you get after you arrive home to discover your house has been ransacked by burglars. Fool the bad guys with a new improved fake TV. You asked for it, we listened, and we made our new fake TV three times brighter than our previous model. The brightness of our new fake TV is equivalent to a 40-inch TV. It simulates the color and motion of a real TV while you're away from home. And when burglars think someone is home watching television, they're likely to pass your house and move on to an easier target. The new, brighter Fake TV is only $39.95 and includes free shipping. Go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. By now, you may know that a Bitcoin is the first decentralized currency that's easily transferred from person to person over the Internet. No bank needed. This means lower fees and accounts can never be frozen, limited, or closed. Plus, a large number of businesses and merchants already accept Bitcoins. And Bitcoins are easily exchanged for dollars, euros, and more. If you're interested in making money in the Bitcoin market right away, and by right away we mean start making money today, please visit us at cloudhashing.com. Cloudhashing.com is one of the fastest growing Bitcoin miners in the world, delivering the highest profits to people just like you. To get started, join us at cloudhashing.com and you will start mining Bitcoins right away and get paid daily. You heard correctly. You will receive payments every single day. And the best part? You do not need a computer or need any experience in mining Bitcoins. It's perfect for everyone. Learn more at cloudhashing.com. Just like it sounds, cloudhashing.com. Start making money today at cloudhashing.com. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Huge Mountain House Sale at Emergency Essentials. Right now, get 25% off every can. Go to BePrepared.com for the guaranteed lowest price you'll find anywhere. Mountain House freeze-dried meals are famous for their proven 25-year shelf life, delicious flavors, and easy preparation. This month only, save 25% on over 30 Mountain House varieties. For the best selection, call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. try to study all the major countries in the world, and I do know quite a bit about Ukraine. Probably more than most of the so-called ambassadors Obama sends around. But that's not saying much. It's on record that most of the ambassadors don't even know where the countries are they're being sent to and brag about it and can't speak any of the language. And it is very insulting uh, to the people that uh, are having these ambassadors sent to them. Usually you send an ambassador who's an American citizen, but had family there and a culture there. If you want to get anything done, like if, you know, the U.S. ambassador to England should generally be an Anglophile and 
have family in England and you know have some background there and know about British culture or UK uh, culture. And it's just an example. I mean, there's Obama's ambassador to Norway, knows nothing about Norway, and brags he knows nothing about Norway. But, but I know quite a bit about Ukraine. Really smart, great people that had it really hard in between Europe and, and those wars and in between the old uh, czars and then the Russians under communism. But this is a new empire of the EU and the globalist teamed up with the Anglo-American establishment coming in to take over and, and privatize everything and absolutely just drag these people through the mud. And there's problems with the government. There's corruption. There's all the standard stuff. They're, they've been putting new governments in every couple of years over there. This government's just trying to be neutral. And it looked like on a lot of fronts was trying to be nice to the Russians and nice to the EU and just trying to have f trade and saying, we'll just be on our own. No, thank you. The EU looks like a bad deal. And of course, they activated Soros. And I mean, Soros is like herpes or something. I mean, he just is the gift that keeps on giving. Do I need to say anything more about what's happening in the Ukraine, but that George Soros is on record right in the middle of it? What an uncool person. And look at what they did back in 2008 with the neocons. It's the same agenda. Starting a war with Russia in South Ossetia and Abkhazia in northern Georgia. We almost had a nuclear war right there. And our media said Russia had attacked Georgia. They had national news say that I was a collaborator because I came out and said that we attacked the Russians. Later, they had to admit that was the case. They ran a hoax, folks. They could start a war tomorrow with the Russian border territory. A demilitarized zone. They've got a bunch of those. And, and, and we'd have nuclear war and we'd always be told the Russians did it. That's how big these hoaxes are. That's how evil this government is. It's not our government, ladies and gentlemen. It is criminal elements that are playing all countries off against each other because they can consolidate power during chaos. Because while the Catholic and um, Orthodox people are lined up killing each other and attacking each other, being manipulated. Uh, in Ukraine, the globalists sit back and laugh. Just like here, it'll be black or white, or white versus Hispanic, or north versus south, or man versus woman, or gay versus straight. Why don't we all just agree on Bill of Rights, Constitution, due process, private property, right to defense, and be like, I'm for freedom, and you are a status. See, people need to be in gangs. They need to be in clubs. They need to be in tribes. They need to be in packs. That's how we are. But it should be, I'm part of the invention pack. I'm part of the trailblazer pack. I'm part of the honorable pack. You know, in real business that's still in this country, it gets, the word gets out, oh, that's an honorable law firm. That's an honorable CPA. That's an honorable florist. That's an honorable uh, repair guy. That's an honorable good painter. And, and you know what? They can charge more and they get the business and anyone with a brain works for them. And then all the losers just feed on the unwashed masses that don't know what they're doing. The most valuable thing in this world is being honorable. And as Dr. Paul Craig Roberts has said many times, America in the last decade has lost its soft power. We've lost our soft power where people respected us so much that they would basically work with America. And that really helped our country. There's nothing wrong with having an empire of ideas, an empire of trade, an empire of goodwill, if it's consensual. Consensual collectivism is great, where we all agree on liberty, so we collectivize our will to make the world better. But it doesn't mean we collectivize and give up our will to join a collective. Oh, no, 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 no. See, collectivists are like the corporate Borg. And so as, as people that are individuals, we think, well, I won't work with anybody because I'm not a collectivist. That, that's not collectivism. That's teamwork, ladies and gentlemen. And the minute we figure out the difference between that and, 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 this, and this robo sapien humanoid garbage that is collectivism, this trendiness, uh, this just, just accepting whatever the latest propaganda is, the minute we do that is the minute we begin to turn the tide. Now, i got a bunch of other news to cover as well, and we've got a bunch of big guests coming up today, but I'd like to get your take on what's happening over in the Ukraine uh, as well. Lennon LaRouche has been wanting to come on for weeks about this, and we finally uh, got him on. Uh, he says it could turn into World War III. I agree. Joseph Farah is going to be coming on to talk about a host of issues, Obama becoming a dictator, uh, and so much more. That of WorldNet Daily. That is all coming up today. But uh, I've got some other comments on this as well. I mean, sanctions on Ukraine.
Their police have been incredibly restrained. We're on the march.